Uh, good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Monday. Um, hope everybody's having a good Monday to start their day and had a good breakfast already, hopefully. Um, let's go ahead and check in on the mood meter and see how we're feeling. I um, am in the green right now. I feel pretty good. Um, I'm feeling kind of loving. Um, there's a video that Miss Chivers and the teachers made for you guys. And I'm going to show it to you in just a minute. And that's making me feel um, loving in the green area. And I'm going to show it to you right now. If you want to wait and see the video and then check in on the movie meter, you can. But I wanted everybody to see it. So let's go watch the video. You might not be able to hear the sound. And if you can't, your parents can always find the video. Um, with sound and you'll be able to hear it. Ready? Here we go. And you should be able to see lots of teachers you know. <laughs> Is Dr. Ramir? There's Miss Hollinsworth. Miss Pfeiffer. Miss Kirkpatrick. There's Miss Huffman and her puppy. Miss Casares. There's all the second grade teachers. And there's Miss Chivers. There's Miss Nakoni from the office. Miss Jones, you might not know her. She teaches some of the older kids. And there's Dr. Webb. Miss Porter looks sad. She misses everyone. There's Miss White, that's Sammy's teacher. There's Miss Westmoreland. There's Officer Amy. There's Miss Davis. And Dr. Jordan. And look at the new baby. There's Miss Miller, that's one of our buddies teachers. Miss Sabin. There's our other buddies teacher, Miss Percival. Y'all know Miss Davis. It says remember you are loved and we miss you. There's your special area teachers. Look at Mr. K. He's silly. Dear students, keep up the hard work. You're doing amazing. So that was for you guys. I hope everybody liked it. Maybe that made you feel in the yellow or in the green. All right. Um, now let's talk about the date. So you should have your calendar packet out. And it was just the weekend. So we didn't have school. Hope everybody had a good weekend. So Saturday was the 25th. And then Sunday was the 26th. And now we're on today, which is Monday. We have computer lab. Well, Miss Thompson's class. If you're not in Miss Thompson's class, maybe you'll do something different. Or if you want to follow this, you can do computer lab today too. Do something on the computer. Um, okay, let's count to today and figure out the date. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Today's the 27th. So let's go ahead and write a 27 on our calendar. It's a two and a seven. Okay. Um, April will end this week. Okay. April will actually end on um, Elitzel's birthday right here. And then we will have a new month start on um, Friday will be May 1st. So we will have a new calendar that day. Um, okay, so let's find the 27 over here, move it to today, and now we can say the date together. Today is Monday, April 27th, 2020. Good. All right, so that is our date. We've done the calendar. Let's keep going, and we can talk about the weather now, over the weekend, we had, I know a lot of people were telling me, um, and we heard it, we had some really strong storms on Saturday night, and I'm pretty sure the tornado sirens went off. Did Maybe you live close, you probably do, on that side of town. I don't live close enough to hear the tornado sirens um, in Rock Hill, where I am. We can hear them a little bit if we're outside when they go off, but in our house, we can't hear them. Um, maybe you heard them go off Saturday night to warn us, and just in case there was a tornado. Um, but then yesterday it was a very pretty day. Um, let's see what the weather is right now. Um, you can go look out your window. I'm looking out my window and it looks sunny to me. Yesterday was windy. I don't know about at your house, but it was very windy here. But right now it looks like it's sunny outside. So I'm going to erase the seven and I'm going to color in a sunny day. If I color in this sunny day, we had seven. If I add one, how many is that going to be now? Yeah, that's going to be eight. Let's count and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to write an eight up here. I'm going to write it right up here. And we are running out of room. I'm going to have to add some more squares on our graph. And you might have to add some more at home, too. Okay. But what kind of weather do we have the most of for April so far? Yeah, definitely sunny. Let's check the weather. Let's see what it's going to be today. So it looks like it's 52 right now. It's a little chilly, but it's going to be 72 degrees, and it says plenty of sunshine. And look, no rain um, on this map for South Carolina. Awesome. All right, back to calendar. Let's figure out how many days we have left in kindergarten. We can erase this. And I'm going to erase a day. And now I want you to try to count by tens and ones and see how many days we have left in kindergarten. I did not mean to do that. I was just trying to erase that. Oh, go ahead and count. All right, so we have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So it's a 26. So we need to write a 2 and a 6. You see that 10, 20, and then we have 6, 1. So we have two 10s and 6, 1s, and that makes 26. Good. Okay, so for our snap word of the day, we are not going to do a new word. I'm just going to call out some words, and I want you to practice writing them in a snap, okay? So the first word is going to be you. Can you write the word you? All right, let's we'll see if you wrote it in a snap and if you got it right. Y O U. Good. Can the next word is we. 
Can you write the word we? Good, it should be W E. Good job. All right, now can you write the word um, look? Look. All right, it should be L O O K. Good. Um, can you please write the word? All right, this might be a little tricky. Can you try to write the word this? This. All right, let's see if you got it. And if you don't know, you can write it now. T-H-I-S. Good. Can you try to write the word can? In a snap. All right, C A N. Good. All right, what about the word mom? Can you write mom? Good, it should be M. O-M. Good job. And let's not leave dad out. Let's write dad. Dad is D-A-D. All right, did you write all your snap words? Let's go back over and read them. Point to you. We're going to read them all together. You. We look this can mom dad. Good job practicing, everyone. All right, so now we're going to do some math and we're not going to do a story problem today. We're actually going to talk about um, ways to make one number. So I'm going to show you what I mean here. We have not talked about this yet. So let's put the number six up here. I'm going to underline If you want to write a six on your paper, you can. And I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw three circles right here. One. Oh, I want them to be bigger than that. Hold on. Here we go. One, two, three. Now I want you to tell me how many more do I need to make six? If I have three here, how many more do I need to make six? I'm going to use blue now. So if I have one, two, three, watch, four, five, six. So that shows me that three and three makes six. But did you know there's other ways to make six? Watch this. Let me try a different one. I'm going to use red. Watch, I'm going to draw four circles. Watch, one, two, three, four. How many more do I need to make six this time? One, two, three, four, five, six. So what's different about this one? How many reds do I have? One, two, three, four. And how many blues? Two. So this shows me that four and two makes six. So you can do three plus three. Four plus two. Watch this. What if I do this? One, two, three, four, five. How many more do I need to make six, you guys? Yeah, just one more. So what does that show me? What does that one show? Yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five, five plus one makes six. So look at all these ways we can see how to make six. Now there's another one too, watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one shows that six plus zero equals six. 
let's write all these ways. Let's write them down like equations now so we can see all the ways to make 6. Ready? So let's write this one. This one is 3 plus 3. So let's write that. Whoops, not big like with the marker. Whoops. So 3 plus 3 equals 6. All right, let's look at this one. What was this one again? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 plus what? 2. So let's write that. 4 plus 2 equals 6. Good. And here's another one. What was this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1. Okay, so 5 plus 1 equals 6. Good job. And now let's, what's this last one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This was the one that we said 6 plus 0 equals 6. Look at all those ways to make 6, you guys. Great job. Now tomorrow I'm going to pick a different number. And we're going to see all the ways to make that number. Okay? And I want you to no just notice a lot of people don't realize how many different ways you can make numbers. So I wanted you to see that. All right, you guys have done a great job today. Um, I hope you keep learning and have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone.